Hey guys, welcome to the shop. A, a while back I decided I wanted to get rid of my old television which looked like this. I think it was a door price back in the 90s. It's an old TV, the remote doesn't work and you have to run over and either push the buttons with a stick or you can walk up and push the buttons with your finger. I bought this little monitor right here a while back for my computer and then decided that it really didn't help that much so I ended up hooking it back up to the original monitor. So I had this little tiny television which has a terrible speaker but the picture's pretty good. I brought it out here into the shop so I could watch movies while I work on projects. I've got an old Sony DVD player on it that works pretty good too. Both of them are fairly modern. They have uh, audio output jacks on the back that I can put into my stereo. I got some old um, speakers that I got I think over at the Goodwill or Salvation Army or something. Anyway, I've had them forever. You can see the one up there. It's kind of beat up. It's been moved around. It's uh, been in the last three or four houses we've had. Anyway, I wanted to put the sound from this into that. The problem is this. It's a bookshelf stereo. Not a super great one, but not a super terrible one either. The problem is there's no line in jack on it. So if you want to put sound into it, you're not going to be able to put it in through a jack like most modern stereos have. Again, this is either a Salvation Army or Goodwill stereo, so you get what you get and you don't throw a fit. My plan was to come up with something better, so I came up with what I'm calling my Hillbilly Bluetooth. Everybody's seen one of these. It's uh, just kind of a deal that goes into your car, plug it into your cigarette lighter, it lets you hook up a couple of cigarette lighter things in there, maybe a GPS and a radar detector, and it's got a couple of USB slots on it, which is kind of cool. Well this one was broken. The bit back here had a broken piece of plastic. So what I did was I dug around in my box of things that I'm going to use for a project later on and came up with a 12 volt power supply. The power supply was for an old cordless phone. It was a 12 volt power supply and I hung on to it because I thought I might be able to use it for something one day. And if I hadn't, maybe I could put it on my other cordless phone should it die. I'm kind of a pack rat sometimes with electronic stuff. I know, I know. Anyway, I had this and it was kind of broke, so I took the back bit that was broken off of it and wired in the bits from the phone charger. You can see that I've shrink wrapped them, uh, soldered them, very good solid connection. Now how do I get my audio from the television into that fine looking stereo down yonder on my bookshelf? What I did was a while back on a bike trip I bought this. I think it was five bucks at Walmart. It's got a USB charger on it before I put the USB chargers on the scooter. And it's an FM modulator that plugs into your cigarette lighter so I could run Bluetooth and stuff over my bike stereo. I did last year uh, as a way to use my phone as a GPS. The cool thing about this is that you can plug it in and it doesn't know that it's not in the car. It doesn't know it's not on the bike. It thinks it's still on the car doing its job. Take this wire right here and plug it into the side. And now it's set up and it will transmit over the FM radio. If you look at it, it tells you it's transmitting at 99.1, which is a fairly clear frequency in my area. My only complaint about this is because it's so cheap, the audio quality is um, a little bit wispy. It's got some background noise. If I had to have it in my car, it would drive me nuts. But in the shop where I'm watching Jackie Chan Kung Fu movies, maybe a James Bond movie and there's gunshots and stuff going off, it's good enough. And like, like I say, it didn't cost me anything. I was able to make it out of just a bunch of junk I had laying around. So there you go. If you uh, don't have a line out onto your stereo and you're thinking maybe you'd like to have your fancy schmancy television and DVD player go into your cheap, cheap stereo, this might be a viable option for you. Not a hard project, something I think it took me maybe 15 minutes to do the whole project and get everything wired up. And that might even have included building this fine looking shelf that everything sits on. Good stuff, huh?